Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. The Amer what is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video. And today we have some new Wisconsin news. I know, I know. It's been a while since we talked about Wisconsin governor's race, and we have some pretty big news out of Wisconsin. Former Governor Tommy Thompson, the last good governor of Wisconsin, is seriously considering a run for governor as he went down to visit the Orange Man of Florida and Mar-a-Lago. It's a very huge development that I gotta talk about again as a Wisconsin night. I have not really chosen who I'm going to vote for governor yet. It's kind of a, again, I'm going to vote for the Republican, you know, obviously, but I don't know which Republican yet, but it's very interesting if Tommy Thompson enters. Now, before I continue with the rest of today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash like now below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the little bell, and uh, yeah, before I forget, of course, go follow that mysterious Twitter account in the description down below. Again, that's Joe down the street that made it. I don't know who made it, Quite frankly, it could be the homeless guy, it could be Joe down the street. But the point is, go follow the Twitter account that I'm totally not affiliated with. And, uh, yeah. So Tommy Thompson is meeting with the Orange Man in Mar-a-Lago as he seriously considers a run for governor. When I saw this at first, I thought this was The Onion. It's like, no way he's gonna run. He's almost, I think he's 80 at this point. But it turns out... It's an actual thing. I mean, he did say that he was actually considering it. Also, there is some big names that were meeting with Trump today. It was also the Diana Hendricks, who is a billionaire, and also Rians Priebus. I think that's how you say the last name. But point is this. It seriously looks like that Tommy Thompson, the former governor of the great state of Wisconsin, again, who I consider to be the last great governor of Wisconsin, appears to actually be running it does appear that it's pretty pretty likely he's gonna run as it it looks like trump is actually leaning towards thompson again i know cleafish you know did you know have a meeting with trump you know a week ago but still it's like okay if you have one of the bigger billionaires in wisconsin in you know meeting with tommy thompson and trump it's like okay there's something going on here now the question is, who even is Tommy Thompson? Again, I keep saying that I consider him to be the last great governor of Wisconsin. Well, I swear, everything this guy did helped Wisconsin immensely. I mean, he did a lot of good for this state. Now, his abortion stance, you know, he was always pro-life. But again, he isn't as, like, pro-life as he should have been. But again, that was, like, you know, 20 years ago. And still, he was pro-life. Just, you know, he was pro stem cell research, what get, which again is like, why? But still, he is decent enough on abortion. So again, it may seem like he's awful on abortion, but that's like 20 years ago. And plus, he still is pro life, just this part's cringe. Outside of that, you look at this, you know, platform, it's like, holy crap, this guy is pretty good. I mean, back in the 90s, he was the closest thing the Republicans had to, you know, more outsider type, like populist esque Republican. I mean, you look at. All these pop uh, policies. And remember, he was the first governor to enact school choice. So all the people going around supporting school choice and stuff have to thank this guy. He is the reason that school choice is even a thing. I mean, yeah, I know it was like suggested by a con uh, state's representative, but Tommy Thompson was a big reason that school choice really became a big issue. I mean, this is just good stuff. I mean, you keep reading this. And... It just appears this guy is an actual, like, base Republican. I mean, you go down here. I think it's, you know, families and... Uh, let's see here. It's somewhere. Okay, but point is this. You look at even immigration, which... This is... Uh, some of these are not the best. I mean... This part here with, like, East Canadian border crossing rules. That I have a problem with. But, again, that was 1999. I mean, 2012, I mean, he wanted to make English an official language. Back in 2012, this wasn't like 2000. I mean, this is only 10 years ago. And if I can find it right here, children first. He, he wanted to have the father actually pay child support or go to jail. Now, again, 
the court system when it comes to family courts, there is serious reform. But the fact he said this like, hey, you better pay up or you're going to jail. That's pretty based. And you look at all these other things. He does have a pretty good track record of being a pretty good Republican. And you go down here again. But uh, on the issues has, you know, this metric thing here that shows you where he is. He's considered a populist leaning conservative. Now, is that necessarily correct? Eh, I wouldn't say that. But point is, he definitely has, you know, some of those populist tendencies in his policies. Now, again, I'm not saying that, you know, he's the greatest Republican in the world. I mean, there is some parts where it's like, uh, that doesn't seem right. But on most of the issues, I do like his foreign policy. He was always not interventionist. He was pretty good on free trade. Families, he was actually, you know, one of the only Republicans talk about, hey, you know, we should actually, you know, reform the welfare system that's actually focused on families. It is a good Republican. Even on the environment, he was actually kind of good. But again, you could thank him for the school choice stuff. Now, the question is this. Who do I personally support in this race? Again, he is a very good Republican. The only issue I have with Tommy Thompson is his age. He's 80. It's like, uh, that's a bit too old. I know Trump and Biden are like 78, but still 80. And I know it's Wisconsin, but still it's like, uh, that's a bit, um, bit old for me. But you look at the other candidates, it's like, okay, they're not bad, right? Rathman, I think is, you know, the worst one. Rampton, I think that's he say his name. I, I just have my issues with him. Again, he seems good on some policies, but the whole election stuff, it's like, okay, you're going a bit too far there, guy. But you still have Kevin Nicholson, which I do think is still a good Republican. Cleve Fish has actually been a surprise. She's actually running a good campaign. Now, the question is, will she keep that up? I don't know. But the point is, it is good Republicans well, outside this guy. It is, you know, solid Republicans running. But if Tommy Thompson actually decided to run, I think I would vote for him. Again, the only issue with him is his age. But you look at his policies. I mean, 10 years ago, he was talking about like, hey, we should reform welfare to make it, you know, families first. Back when Republicans were like, we can't have, you know, spend all this money on, you know, welfare. Again, the welfare system in America is not the best, but reforming it's definitely a better policy than just abolishing it. I mean, he was non-interventionist 10 years ago. So he is a good Republican on the issue. So again, I would personally support him in this election. Again, the only issue is his age. But if he doesn't run, I'm torn between, you know, Nicholson and Cleefish. It's a very tough determination who I'm going to vote for. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the little bell, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys. In the next video, Godspeed to all of you.